Cuéntame toda la noche No nos queda mucho tiempo más No quiero perder lo que queda Seguimos siempre la pasión y confiamos So welcome back to my channel if you haven't even met before my name is Shiv hello if you're coming back then welcome in today's video I have a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial but I'm gonna call it party festive look because I don't know if it's gonna make it up tonight or if it's gonna make it up on New Year's Day we shall see who knows what will bring this year in 2020 but if you'd like to see how to create this makeup look then please carry on watching if you do enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let's just carry on with the tutorial so the first step is I'm going to take my P. Louise base in the shade Rumour number 2. I have never used this before so I'm very excited. And I'm going to take it on a Morphe M224 brush. I'm going to do this eye on camera and then this eye off camera. So I'm just going to start by taking some of the base which I'm very excited to do. And I'm going to pop some onto the brush. Yeah, onto the brush. Don't really know how much to use to be honest. I'm taking about that much, like a very small pea size. And I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. And then they always say to do that patting motion. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just pat that evenly across the lid for a nice base. I'm just taking that up towards the brow, try and like carve out the brow a little bit. I feel like I should have used more. I'm not really too sure here never used this before but i'm literally just copying the method from instagram and i've already filled in my brows with the anastasia medium brown brow powder duo Patting that in. okay and then you're not supposed to set the space so i'm going to leave it unset <laughs> And then I'm going to take my Norvina Anastasia palette. I'm going to use a lot of Anastasia themed products in this video just to pre-warn you. I am going to take the shade Love, which is this light baby pink shade right here. And I'm going to take it on a Sigma E25 blending brush. And I'm going to pop it into the inner half of the crease. And the outer half of the crease I'm going to do purple. So I'm going to take the shade Love right here. Just on like the tip of my brush. I'm just going to press this into the crease of my eye like and then do a little wiggle to work it in just on the inner half of the lid just keep wriggling it in till it's nice and smooth and adding more color like if needed and then i'm just going to slowly start like scratching at the edges to kind of start blending this out a little bit Okay, and then I'm going to switch over to using this shade right here, which is called Soul, which is like a lavender, bluey, purple kind of shade. It looks like it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it isn't too crazy, so it should be fine. So I'm going to pop that in the crease using this So Ava 227 Luxe Soft Definer Brush. So I'm going to take that again just on the tip of the brush and then pop that in the outer section of the crease. I'm just going to start with the edge, just working that into the crease of the eye, starting by patting because it's got that wet base and then just wiggling to kind of blend it in. I'm just going to overlap the pink very slightly when it meets up in the middle and then just begin to kind of scratch very lightly at the eye to blend it with the brush. Now I'm just kind of working on getting that shape around the edge nice and even so it's not like bubbly. So it's a nice smooth line towards the outer corner of the eye. And then I'm going to go back in with that love shade. And just, then I'm going to go back in with that love shade and just re-intensify the inner half of the eye. We can be a little bit heavier handed because you've already, already like laid the pigment down. I'm just blending it slightly higher as well. And then I'm going to go back into Soul and just do the same thing and just kind of re-intensify this. Okay, I'm not really feeling how the purple cuts off so like easily where the pink looks nice and faded. So I'm going to take the shade Base, which is right here, which is like an ivory bone kind of colour. And I'm going to take it on my Morphe M513. It has a teeny bit of shimmer, but it should be fine. And I am literally just going to pop that on top of the purple shade, not directly on top, just where it meets my skin, just to kind of blend this out a little bit. 
Right, I'm now gonna go back to my P. Louise base to recut the crease. Usually I cut the crease with like a really tiny brush, but we're gonna try it with a fatter one. The same Morphe M224. I'm just gonna take a little bit on there. And I am going to cut the crease. Pop that across the lid to start off with. So it's kind of even. And then it should transfer up. And then you can just cut through the socket line. And I'm gonna take it all the way to the end. Okay, I've just switched over brushes. This is like a small lip type brush so I can get a more like focused application. I don't know if I've used too much there so I'm just wiping it off on the back of my hand. I received this really cool loose glitter kit from Anastasia. I'm not on lippy on this, but I am kind of sort of a little bit on beauty bases. Sometimes they send me stuff, it's not very often, but I received this and I was like blown away by it. I actually like received something in the post from Anastasia. So it's their loose glitter set and they have like a dark purple glitter, glisten, which looks like a blue and pink reflect, frosted, which is like a purpley pink, green and mist, which is mistletoe and jolly, which is like a champagne. And you also get the glitter adhesive so I'm going to be using that of course for my New Year's Eve look. I think I'm going to take the glitter adhesive which looks like this and I can't work out if I want to put extra shadow on top for the glitter. Yeah I think I am. So I'm going to quickly dive back to the Norvina palette. So organised I know. And I am going to take the shade Wild Child which is the shimmery pink in the palette right here. I'm going to pop it in this half of the eye just underneath the purple cut crease and then on the inner half I'm going to pop the shade Celestial which is the shimmery purple so it's kind of like a backwards and forwards kind of look. My MAC what is this, the 242 brush. I'm just going to spritz it with a little bit of primer water just to make the eyes a little bit more metallic. So I'm just taking the shade Wild Child and I'm just going to pack that over the top of the like outer half of the lid. And then I'm taking another flat shade of brush and going in with that shade Celestial, which is the shimmery purple colour. And I am going to pop that in the inner half of the lid. And then I'm going to take that wild child shade just to pat over the middle of it to kind of like blend the two together. Okay, so I'm just going to start by taking the glitter adhesive from Anastasia. And it comes with a brush. Do I want to put it on with a brush? Okay, so we're going to do the purple side first. And the glitter I'm taking is the shade Snowfall. I'm just going to lightly tap over the purple. I definitely put on way too much. I'm glad I put a coloured base down just so it has something underneath it. I'm going to be careful not to close my eyes too much. Open my eyes too much. I'm going to take the shade Snowfall. And then I'm going to take a little brush and spray a lip brush with some primer water. And then go into the glitter, tap off excess. And then pop this over the glitter. Whoa, that's so pretty. Oh my god, that's actually stunning. Wow. Okay, and then I'm going to take the shade Glisten. This one looks a bit more like rainbowy. Then I'm just going to pop on a winged liner. This is the Focalore Superfine Liquid Liner Pen. I'm just going to peel off the tape. Hopefully it's smooth. Yes. Then because this look is quite like glittery, I feel like I want to pop a black in the waterline just to kind of bring the smoke back. So I'm going to take the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in the shade Fishnet. I'm going to pop it in the waterline. I'm just going to go back into the shade Rose we used earlier and I am going to put this on the inner corner of the lower lash line, just smudging that underneath. I'll intensify this later once I put like concealer and stuff on. And then of course taking the shade Soul, that purpley colour, and popping it on the outer section of the lower lash line. 
now I'm going to give my lashes a quick curl just to kind of give them a little boost for the mascara. Just give them a squeeze. These are the Superdrug Rose Gold Eyelash Curlers, but of course any will do. And then for mascara, I'm going to take the Technic Mega Lash Water Resistant Mascara. I'm going to pop a bit of that on before my falsies. For falsies, I'm going to take these ones from Land of Lashes. They are in the style Glam. They are absolutely massive. I've had these for a while and I've been saving them for a special look. I figured this is a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial, so I figured perfect. They are super big on the outer corner, really spiky, fluffy lashes, and I cannot wait to put these on. So I'm going to go ahead, put these on off camera, do my other eye, and we'll be back to do the face. So now the other eye and lashes are on. Now it's time to move on to the face. I'm going to start off by using my Primark Primer Water just to prep the skin. I absolutely love this stuff. So I'm just going to spritz this all over the face. Then for my actual primer, I'm going to take the Yves Saint Laurent. This is the Touche Eclat Blur Primer. I'm just going to massage this into the skin for a nice flawless base. This is like a bit of my bougie primer, so I don't tend to use this that often, but I do absolutely love it. I'm going to massage that into the skin, starting off with the centre of the face. And then for foundation, I'm going to take the Urban Decay or Nighter Foundation. This is in the shade 3, and I'm just going to bounce this all into the skin using the Spicy Choco Kush Blend Sponge, which I love. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that all over my face. This foundation is very full coverage, so I'm going to try and use a little amount, but we all know how that goes. So I'm going to start off by just working this all over the skin. Then for cream contour, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Beautiful Bronze, what was in the usual areas, just to kind of add some shape to the face so it's not so two dimensional. So around the top of the forehead, under my cheekbones, a little bit down the nose, that kind of thing. And then I will blend it out with a Smashbox small, nope, this is a Smashbox cream cheek brush. <laughs> And then for concealer, I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Porcelain. I'm going to conceal the usual places. Forehead, under the eyes, of course. Chin, and a little bit on my nose. And then I'll blend it in with the Spicy Choco Sponge. This tutorial, I'm doing it super quick because I'm actually filming this on New Year's Eve, guys. And I want to upload it on the same day. I know most of you are going to be partying, but if you're like me and you're staying in this year, I was going out, but now we can't afford it. Um, then it's quite cool to watch videos. So, yeah. Hope you all are having a fab new years wherever you are or if you're watching this when you're hungover or from parties the next day kind of thing. Hope you had a fab time. I do love these concealers but I'm always scared they're gonna like splat everywhere. <laughs> okay and then I'm gonna blend it out using my sponge. Then to set the face, I'm going to be taking the Nude by Nature Translucent Loose Finishing Powder. And I'm taking it on a Style Pro S102 brush. I got a Style Pro brush cleaner for Christmas and it came with a couple brushes, so I'm going to try this out. I'm not going to bake or anything like that, I'm literally just going to set the face. Pressing that into the skin and then we'll start to buff to work the powder in. Then for bronzer, I'm going to take the Nude by Nature Sunkissed Pressed Bronzer in the shade Byron Bronze. I used this recently, I like it. You just have to be quite light-handed with it. So I'm going to take it on my Sigma F25 Tapered Face Brush. Just go into the bronzer quite lightly and tap off the excess. And then just bronze up the outer sort of perimeters of my face for a nice glow. In my, in my I just like a little bit across my nose. For blush, I'm going to take the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso, just because it's a nice kind of all-round peachy kind of blush. Put that on the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm going to set this face into place using my Primark Matte Setting Spray. 
For highlight, I'm going to take my Amrezy highlighter, of course. I'm just going to load up my brush. This is the So Ava 134 Luxe Powder Fusion Brush. I'm just going to load this up on my cheeks. And then I'm also going to pop this in the inner corner as well. And then some mascara on my lower lashes just to finish off the eyes. For lips, I have a few options from the Undressed 5 Piece Lip Set, which comes with four different liquid lipsticks and a lip gloss. I think I'm going to go for the kind of metallic liquid lipstick, which is called Beaming, with the Summer Vibes Lip Gloss, which is this one right here, just because it's a New Year's look. Why not be a little bit fancier than just a boring nude? Dress it up a little bit with the metallic. So I'm just going to take that right here. I'm just going to quickly line my lips with MAC Strip Down Lip Liner completely forgot for some reason and we obviously need a lip liner to go with my lipsticks so here we go and then i'm going to top it with summer vibes lip gloss which looks absolutely gorgeous so i believe someone put that on Oh, I forgot how much I love the smell of these lip glosses, like candy. And this is the finished Sparkly Glam New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. I don't know, honestly, if it's going to make it up on New Year's Eve or if it's going to make it up on New Year's Day. So just take this as a party festive look. Either way, I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and just having some fun with some glitter and colour and all of that fun makeup stuff. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have an amazing 2020 and I shall see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Hi guys! Hi guys! <laughs> I've got glitter everywhere. You've got glitter everywhere. Everywhere. You've got glitter every. Everywhere. These are the Superdrug Rose Gold Eyelash Curl by Nature Translucent. Uh, Translucent. And this is the finished New Year's Eve makeup tutorial, which I don't know is. <laughs> It's <laughs> When what is this video? We go again, folks. Come on. Okay. You got this. My brows really uncomfortable. Okay. Mm. Hi guys, and welcome, welcome back. back to my channel. If we have an email, Nick, before. you're not funny. Stop. It is funny. It's so funny.